Legalism is what I want to talk about in this video. Something that's been going on for a long time when you just really think about it and you see it all the time. The danger of legalism. You know, in Christianity, when you think about legalism and you look at Christianity, you'll see why so many people for years have been so burnt out, emotionally drained, spiritually drained. Because so many people really think they can earn their salvation. And when you look at the Holy Bible as a set of rules only, you miss it. The Pharisees in the Bible, the legal experts <laughs> who never understood our Savior, who they was very what? self-righteous the traditions of men the laws it was over 600 and some laws and the only thing that really ever mattered was the Holy Spirit keep my commandments and let's just keep it real a lot of people when they come into the faith They'll tell you, I've been born again. You know, I, I, I've been saved since 1983. I gave my life over to God in 1983. But really, a lot of them, when they're talking, they're just religious. Just catch what I'm saying. And they've been a part of legalism for a long time. Because so many people think they can really earn their salvation. So they start looking at the Bible as a set of rules. Hmm. They try their best to live this way. I can't wear pants no more. I can't eat hot sauce no more. If I eat hot sauce, it's got the devil on the Bible. I can no longer play dominoes. I can't go to the movies no more. Catch where I'm going with this. I can't do this no more. I can't do that no more. Now, I'm all for people leaving stuff alone to keep themselves lined up with the Holy Spirit. That's understandable. But some folks are so doggone, they so doggone holy and down, they ain't no earthly good. And they make our Savior out to be something he never was. Because I'm going to tell you something. Our Savior was not religious. He went against them. He was spiritual. Legalism have messed, <clears throat> excuse me. Legalism has messed up a lot of Christians. It ain't just in Christianity. Because I'd rather be Holy Spirit led as the Bible teaches us to be. Versus being self-centered and self-righteous as the Pharisees was. And you cannot earn salvation. Bible is clear on that. Because it's a free gift given to us. Should you live any in any kind of way? No. You should be living set apart. But legalism, Paul had to go against legalism. How many times? Hmm. Legalism threatened the first century churches. It did. See, just like the Pharisees, oh, we got to keep this law, keep that law. They kept so many laws and traditions of men. They was in love with what they had. They forgot about the lawgiver. Who teach Holy Spirit? People right now are still looking at the Bible only as a set of rules. And they don't see the grace and the mercy. That's why you got so many people debating and arguing, fighting. Israelite versus Christian. Christian versus Muslim. Muslim versus Christian. Jehovah Witness versus Christian. Non-denomination. AME versus CME. 
Baptist versus Kojic. Woman can't wear pants. Woman leave off that makeup. Woman rules, 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 rules. I thought salvation was a inside job, not an outside job. Holy Spirit is gonna change you up regardless. If you when you are truly born again, the Holy Spirit will straighten you up to dress a certain way, to act a certain way, to look a certain way. To be a certain way, to be so, to be set apart. You know how many marriages are destroyed, or already been destroyed, or on their way to being destroyed, destroyed because of legalism. A lot of women who are brainwashed, a lot of men who are not submitted to the Holy Spirit. Legalism will tear a marriage up. Ooh. Mm -mm. What you see when people act like this is not the holy scriptures of the Bible. It's learned behavior and practices. Well, I'm gonna practice doing this. I'm a, well. I seen I seen Auntie do this. I seen my mama or papa. And they did it this way. Well, how did the Holy Spirit do it? Mm. Legalism is division. We all know what legalism means. And when you look at what it has done to so many people, it made a lot of them self-righteous. So I heard, I'm here to ask you, are you spiritual? Or are you religious? Because there is a difference. I love how the Bible teaches us versus what we see these, this learned behavior of what so many people are doing. I remember this one church I used to go to back in the day, way out in the country. It was a quote-unquote supposed to be in holiness church. Boy, you talking about some brainwashed people who was truly lost call itself reading the Bible all the time. The women dressed like nuns, covered from head to toe. And someone was your biggest hoes. I'm just being honest. They tried to hide through church building. They tried to hide who they really were. They got so sick of trying to well, I remember one chick, she finally just said, I'm, I'm tired of dressing like this. I ain't going to never get no husband dressed like a nun. And she didn't dress revealing. She was just brainwashed. She never dressed revealing. But the pastor that she had, who called himself prophet one month, three months later he's apostle, and then he'll jump from that title and go to bishop, then he'll change and go to Reverend. He changed his name look like every three or four months. And he said that every time he changed his name, he had got more power. One of the women was brainwashed. But he was really just off into legalism. Boy, he brainwashed the women at the church so hard. He taught them that holiness, oh, catch this now, was an outer appearance. That's why they were dressed where you couldn't see nothing. They was brainwashed. He taught, he taught them they couldn't wear earrings. They couldn't wear makeup. They couldn't wear jeans. They better not have weave in their hair. <laughs> he taught them to put on this, put on that, but he never taught them about the inside of the heart. So he told them that holiness was an outer appearance. So he tried to teach them how to look holy, but on the inside, they was toe up. They was emotionally drained. Their spirit was messed up. They was all the way toe up. That's why I say when you get born again, the Holy Spirit will tell you, woman, don't dress like this no more. Brother, don't do this no more. But stop looking at the Bible as only a set of rules. Because when you do that, 
you'll never see the beauty of grace and mercy. Shalom, family.